Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back for another Dragalia Lost video. Today's video, I just want to talk about the Persona 5 Scramble collab. <laughs> it's... It's what I want to do. I'm a big fan of Persona, starting from Persona 4, but I've also played some of the older games, such as Persona 1 and 2 and 2.2, um, along with some other Shin Megami Tensei games as well, of course, some of the older ones, some of the newer ones, so on and so, Devil Survivor, all of it's good, great, great, great. Can't be happier about this new event. So today's video, just going to be talking about the event, looking at the trailer, giving some thoughts, and also talking about some of the data mine stuff too. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me about how you feeling about the event. Are you saved up? <laughs> if you weren't a believer of the data mines beforehand, are you finally on board? Um... I feel like for the most part everyone believed it except for Mayo, but eventually even Mayo, who was a member of the Trash Alliance, was just like, oh yeah, I guess it's true. Um, <laughs> so let's get into it. And subscribe to me if you want some more uh, Dragalia Lost stuff. So, an event based on the Persona series is, of games is coming, which is really funny because it's Persona 5 Scramble, so they can't say it's based off of Persona 5. It's... It's a bunch of weirdness. So they actually, in this event, Joker and other characters from the Persona series will appear in Dragalia Lost as part of the event story and adventures that players can summon. Once Joker's dragon gauge is full, he'll be able to call upon Arsene to fight alongside him in battle. The way he moves and makes use of his weapons in Dragalia Lost insp takes inspiration from his appearance in his original game. Other members of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts will be available to summon, and only N1 will join your roster as you complete quests in the event too okay so let's that's what they have and then they said hey go check out this cool tr trailer we made so here we go um i sure hope that nintendo doesn't take me for looking at this video but yeah this is him introducing the event <sighs> man this was fun to watch at 6 a.m too it's a shame i would have covered it right when i woke up but literally my uncle was awake and i couldn't i couldn't record so persona 5 Strikers, P5S, Cage Desire. Yeah, so he's gonna mention it, but yeah, it's based on Persona 5 Strikers, which is weird, but I assume it's weird that it's Strikers and not Royale, but I think it's specifically because Strikers is a uh, is a Nintendo only game. Well, it's on PC as well. Um, here's him explaining Persona 5 to everyone in Dragalia, as if people don't know what Persona 5 is. I'm sure there's plenty of people who don't know who Persona 5 is, but that's not me. And this is also the game that's like Dynasty Warriors. Um, yeah, it takes place after Persona 5. Doesn't take place after Persona 5 Royale, because that's weird, because timelines are weird. Everything's weird. Um, so I wonder if this game... So let me see if I can see what Joker's saying here. This works out. It's a deal. <laughs> it's really weird to see the prince and Joker talking to each other. But I wonder if this will spoil any of the events of Persona 5 now that I think about it. Hmm. It would be really, really funny. So here's the all-out attack. Looking great. Looking good, Joker. Oh. I love it when they put this much effort into stuff. Weak, that's something that comes from... So here's the thing. Is weak specifically just a break bar? That's the thing I want to know, so... Let me pause right here. Weak in the Persona 5 and Persona... And a lot of other Shin Megami Tensei games, just for lack of word. From now on, I'm just going to call them Persona games. Understand that there's a whole lineage. It's a whole thing. Just don't worry about it. Um, weak usually means that you hit them with an element that they are weak to. Um... But that's not, Dragalia doesn't really follow that kind of system. So I wonder if this is just a break bar thing. I'm assuming it's break bar. If so, that's pretty cool. So that's uh, Joker. It looks like he's dagger from what um, I can tell by the way he moves. And his four strike has the, the gun. His special, his special move is, of course, gun. Um, and when he summons Arsene, it's different from a lot of other dragons, uh, even people who don't have... No, what I'm trying to, what am I trying to say here? Sorry, I'm a little confused. Oh man, it's just so I get, I get so confused when I see him. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that he fights alongside him. It's very similar to how they handle it in the um, um, the fighting games, where the fighting games are kind of similar to stands, for lack of a better. Yeah, there, there you go. Like stands from JoJo, where they they show up behind him and they fight alongside them. Um, 
So that means that he gets to have a dragon, and I'm going to assume it's similar to Mimware. Whatever dragon has the effect, it will be there. But here's the thing I want to know. So, in the data mine specifically, they say Arsene is going to be a dragon. Does that mean that... What I want to know is, is Joker the only, or specifically the Phantom Thieves, the only players that can summon personas and fight alongside them? And if someone else, like for example, if um, Yuidin were to summon Arsene, or use Arsene, and then he brings out Arsene, will he, Arsene then fight alongside him, or will he turn into Arsene? Um, that's what I'm kind of wondering at the moment, how they're going to handle with this specific dragon. Because if so, that's Another something different. Obviously, some dragons who, some people who have like, they have to turn into this dragon or they have a dragon gauge, will have something different. But you know, so yeah, this is the part where they say stay tuned. Now, I thought this event was gonna start um, early February or late February. Usually, sometime after Valentine's, but no, it's actually coming late January 2021. So just to give a good this there's, there's a good chance we're gonna have a gala banner we're gonna have this banner and then right after this right after this um event we're gonna have valentine's day and in valentine's day we're gonna have another set of limited units it's they really this was my problem with monster hunter last year is that there's just a huge slew of like limited dudes coming <laughs> Uh, it's really sucks if you're someone who like spent like spend so crazy. Hopefully we get some free summons, but that's all we know at the moment. Um, man, so here's the other. Th so that's that. Obviously, they only really announced Joker and that he can use Arsene. But I did mention that there are data mines. So I've already said that Arsene was in it. I'm now going to show you who the other data mine characters were going to be in it. If you want to keep that a surprise for yourself for when it gets revealed click away i understand but we're about to enter them right about now okay so here are the data mines for some of the other characters um i don't know if you can see you can't see the bottom of it one moment all right all right so here's the data mine list as you can see here the known characters are or at least the ones that they have been able to really guess um, we're from Grand Blue Fantasy and we're from Persona 5 Strikers. Um, so Joker, obviously one of them with a Persona. Then we got Morgana, Panther, Sophia, and Arsene. Um, some people are probably going to be a little bit... Is pissed the right word? A little bit annoyed that they picked Morgana over someone like Ryuji or literally anyone else but maybe Haru from The Phantom Thieves. I personally never had a problem with Morgana, or Haru for that matter, um, but it is weird for them to pick Morgana out of all the Phantom Thieves. It's not a lot of people are usually going to bat for Morgana. Um, same thing kind of goes for Anne, is that I feel like Anne is the first girl you meet in Persona 5 Scramble, and Persona 5 Scramble, Persona 5, um, she gets a lot of development early on and then she, her character basically takes a note dive after that. Uh, I have to play Royale because apparently Royal really helps with a lot of stuff, but again, I haven't played it because I don't have my PS4 slash PS5 at the moment. Well, I can actually play it. Well, I digress. I digress. And Sophia, who is from Persona 5 Scramble, and she is the reason why we know it was a Persona 5 Scramble, and the known dragon is Arsene. So out of these units to be the free one, they're not giving Joker for free. I don't see them doing that. If he was free, they would have said in the trailer, and comes with a free Joker. Um, if I were to take a wild guess, if it was based off of pure, 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 um, like ability range, I would say Morgana would be the free character. But because it is a Persona 5 Scramble event, they probably feel the need to give you a character that's from Persona 5 Scramble, so that would probably be Sophia. Um, they could make Arsene a free dragon as well, because I think... Um, Monster Hunter. Yeah, Monster Hunter had a free dragon instead of a unit, so it's totally possible. Um, and then based on what they look like, I don't know what they're going to do their class. So obviously every single one of these characters, their four strike is going to have a gun. Um, I don't think all, all of them were going to be mana casters. I think mana casters were needed in order to make Persona 5 a reality in specifically the world of Dragalia Lost, but I don't think that means that they're going to be all rocking mana casters. 
Um, if there was going to be one of them that was probably going to be one, I would say maybe Morgana. But no, it would probably be Panther because um, her weapon is a whip. And there's not really a whip variant in Dragalia. Um, Morgana uses a sword or a, ra a rapier. Um, so you could easily transition that into a sword or a... Um, <laughs> A sword or a blade if you wanted to. A rapier is not really a sword or a blade. It is a rapier, but still I digress. And Sophia, I'm not 100% sure what her class would be because I haven't played Scrambles. Because um, it hasn't been localized for us over here. And in terms of element, it could literally be anything. If I were thinking about it, I would say Joker would probably be Shadow. Um, even though he technically uses fire. Um, all, every single, no, I was going to say every single one of them, but... That, Persona 4's main protagonist uses Zeo. Um, I'm thinking of Persona 3 protagonist, he uses Agi, but the point is is that usually there's a fire motif assigned with him. I think um, Arsene uses fire in um, his first form. Morgana would probably be Wind if they were sticking specifically to how the characters were in Persona 5. Um, Anne would be Fire and Sophia, again, wild card, no idea. She could be any fan for all I know. Um, and yeah, that's really it. That's all we know for the moment. Now, I will point your attention here to um, Narmea. Because if there's anyone here who I look at and go, Oh my god, I need that. It would be Narmea. Out of the data line, data mine characters, I think that is the one character where I would go, Yeah, them that weren't the Persona 5 characters. Like, looking at some of the other one, Yoshitsune ended up turning into that, whoa, yes, please. But the other ones don't really speak out to me the same way. Um, so I really hope that means that a lot of these Grand Blue Fantasy characters are going to be coming up pretty soon. When? I don't know. Honestly, they could be at any time. I don't know if they're even going to be technically a collab, because Jugalia Lost takes Grand Blue Fantasy characters and just makes them units. Oh, man. But yeah, that's all we know for the event. Obviously, when the event comes out more, I'll have more to say, more to talk about. Um, but my current feeling is at least that it's probably Sophie as the free unit. If it was based off popularity, it'd be Morgana as the free unit. Meaning, least popular gets gets picked. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Um, if you do, remember to hit that like button and comment. Tell me about how you feeling about this. How saved up are you? I've got over 40k at the moment, so I'm pretty good to go. Um... And subscribe if you want some more. So until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day. Goodbye.